Let's talk about that one interesting question that every English learner has on his mind. How do I remove my mother tongue influence when I'm learning English? Firstly, let me tell you, this is not a disease. Everybody has it. It's something that is very normal. But here is the good news. It is even more easy to actually get rid of it. So without further ado, let's see how you can remove your mother tongue influence. Let's start learning. All right, so let's start with the first obvious question. What is mother tongue influence? Our mother tongue is the language we grew up speaking. Literally speaking, it means the language our mother taught us. Like in my country, India, it is Hindi or some other language. And these particular languages that we have, have some small influence on English. It makes it difficult for us to speak in a standard accent like that of a native speaker. This is what is called a mother tongue influence. Having said that, let's now see how you can get rid of this mother tongue influence. The first thing that you can do is try out this fun activity. It is called tongue twisters. Practice tongue twisters to improve the focus while you're speaking in English. A tongue twister is basically some English phrase that you have to keep saying by pronouncing the words correctly. Let me give you an example. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay, you have to speak this very fast. If that is difficult, then try the simple one. She sells seashells by the seashore. Try saying it at a faster pace and repeat it over and over again. When you do these tongue twisters, it actually makes your mind and tongue more familiar with the English language. The next thing that you can do is read a particular text aloud. That's right. Take something that you like. It can be from an article, a newspaper, a magazine, whatever you like read it out very loudly so that you are able to pronounce the words properly during that time note down the words that you pronounce incorrectly go on to the internet and search for the right pronunciation of these words the next thing is listen to podcasts podcasts are basically audio clips that you can get from the internet they can be on any topic. You can just download an app on your phone like Spotify or Google Podcast and just subscribe to any particular channel that you like. Listen to it. Observe and understand the correct sound of each syllable. The next thing that you can do is, yes, that's right, listen to English news. English news is the most used or the most frequent method that you can use to improve your language. When you listen every day to English news, you will eventually start to develop that accent from the news reader. This will help you to improve your pronunciation and also build up a good range of vocabulary. You can use different channels, whichever you like. My personal favorite is always the BBC news channel. This is British and will help me in for different English exams as well. The next thing is a fun activity, which is watch English movies and listen to English songs. This is something that everybody likes. When you watch an English movie, you can actually see how native speakers speak, what are the different words they use and how to pronounce these words correctly. If you want to know more about how to learn by watching movies, then please check out my other video where I've gone in detail on how you can do it. I have also given my top recommendations for the best movies to learn English language. Before I jump on to the next one, if you are getting some value out of this video, please make sure to hit that like button. The next thing that you can do is 
a very obvious one join a spoken English class when you join a spoken English class you not only have a trainer there to correct you and to spot any kind of mistakes that you make but you also have fellow students who are also looking to learn language you can easily speak to them and improve your knowledge this is very helpful because you don't have to pay anything additional other than that fees I have a lot of students in spoken English classes if you can or if you would like to join our spoken English classes you're more than welcome to do it all you have to do is quickly log on to our website and sign up with us and we can connect you with other students as well the next thing that you can do is record yourself you can do this either in the audio format or in the video format speaking English is something that is quite challenging but you need to know if you are speaking the words correctly or not the best way to do is take a situation like say for example um, how your day went or what is your favorite sport or which is your favorite color or your favorite movie any of these topics and just start speaking about it when you're doing the speaking just record yourself you can do it either in the audio format or in the video format then watch yourself and see your different gestures and also the way how you pronounce the words if you are confused about any pronunciation use the internet and find out which is the correct format or the correct way to pronounce it that's all for today but if you want to learn more from me then all you have to do is join us for any of our English courses they are clear and practical lessons that will help you to learn vocabulary phrases grammar and everything for that all you have to do is just quickly log on to our website and sign up with us if you enjoyed this video then please go ahead and hit that like button you can also speak to us by using that contact form that is pinned in the comment section or by leaving your feedback in the comment section feel free to check out some of our other videos on this channel and improve your knowledge we would love to have you on our youtube community and if you still not joined it please do by hitting that subscribe button that's it from genesis learning this week i'm your trainer noel and i will see you next week ciao